For the last 32 years, the South Carolina African American History Calendar has paid homage to the outstanding individuals who have made an extraordinary impact on our state and nation. Created by the South Carolina Department of Education, the calendar serves as a tool for educators statewide to celebrate African American history in the classroom. Special thanks to our community partners, AT&T, Dominion Energy, SCETV, the University of South Carolina, and WIS News 10. The 2021 calendar theme celebrates Jenkins Orphanage, founded by Reverend Daniel Jenkins in 1891. Led by Jenkins, the children formed a band and went on to become a worldwide jazz sensation. The young musicians performed at the inaugurations of President Roosevelt and President Taft, and even for the Queen of England. The group's performances helped popularize the Geechee-style dance moves now recognized as the Charleston. The legacy of the orphanage lives on today in North Charleston at the Jenkins Institute. This year, we are proud to honor the following individuals who have helped shape South Carolina, its history, and its citizens in extraordinary ways. Allie Brooks served in Florence area public schools for more than 35 years in various capacities and is the recipient of several South Carolina Board of Education volunteer awards. Gilda Cobb Hunter made history as a member of the South Carolina House of Representatives several times. She also led the historic effort to build the first monument to African Americans on the grounds of any state capitol. The Fielding brothers, Bernard and Herbert, were active civil rights leaders in Charleston and beyond. They eventually took over the family funeral home business, which is one of the oldest African-American owned businesses in the area. Rosa Franklin had a notable nursing career while residing in South Carolina, earning various degrees and even an honorary doctorate. She went on to become the first African-American woman to serve in the Washington State Senate where she advocated for health care. Dr. Sherman James is an award-winning social epidemiologist and distinguished university professor. His research on the link between adversity and hypertension in African Americans has been covered widely in renowned news publications. Willis Langley climbed swiftly from McDonald's trainee to regional operations manager and then pursued the purchase of a franchise with his wife Clara. His dream became reality when the Langleys became the first African-American couple to purchase a McDonald's in the city of Columbia. L. Casey Manning Sr. was an elite high school basketball player who became the first African-American scholarship recipient to play at the University of South Carolina before studying law. As an attorney, he has led a celebrated career, garnering numerous awards and honors. He remains active in athletics and was recently inducted into the South Carolina Athletic Hall of Fame. Amy Surgeoner Northrup established her Columbia, South Carolina beauty shop in 1935 and went on to secure state affiliations with national cosmetology leagues. She was the first African American to be appointed as State Inspector of Beauty Shops and was inducted into the South Carolina Black Hall of Fame. A courageous NAACP civil rights leader and elementary school teacher, Gloria Blackwell Rackley filed and won two landmark civil rights lawsuits in the state. One secured equal rights for African American teachers in segregated schools and the other led to the integration of a local hospital. Nathaniel Spells Sr. was the first African American to earn a bachelor's degree in building construction from the School of Architecture at Clemson. His entrepreneurial spirit led him to establish Construction Dynamics Incorporated, which has garnered numerous awards, including Minority Business of the Year. As president of the Greenville NAACP, A.J. Wittenberg drew national attention 
when he organized a major march after Jackie Robinson and other African Americans were threatened with arrest for sitting in a whites-only section of the Greenville Airport. He continued his commitment to civil rights with desegregation lawsuits and serving in public office. As a young NAACP activist, Doris Wright challenged segregation of the Greenville Public Library, helped organize statewide protests, and became one of the plaintiffs in the landmark Edwards versus South Carolina decision, in which the Supreme Court ruled students had exercised constitutional rights in their public assembly and protest of segregation. She went on to receive numerous humanitarian awards for her civil rights activism and work with nonprofit and government social services specializing in mental health care. To request a copy of the 2021 calendar or find more information about our honorees and the Jenkins Institute, please visit scafricanamerican.com.